Many of you guys have probably come across a few games that recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM. But are these developers exaggerating the case or do you really need 16 gigs of RAM? Welcome everyone, I'm Twisted Skins and in this video we'll be testing 16 versus 8 gigabytes in the most RAM demanding games that I managed to find in my Steam library. I measured this with the Reva Tuna statistics with some of the games hitting around 9 gigabytes of RAM without Shadowplay engaged. On the shortlist we have Doom, Rise of the Tomb Raider, The Witcher 3 and Rise Son of Rome. For consistency across the board I ran the Fraps benchmark three times and averaged the results. During gameplay I made sure I started at the same place, on the same level, each time. So let's get into the benchmarks. First up we have Doom on the UAC level. This was run at the highest combination of Ultra and Nightmare settings at 1080p with Field of Vision at 100 and TSS AA times 8. The only problem with benchmarking this game was actually to do with me dying before the benchmark had even finished. Maybe I should have considered dropping the difficulty from Ultra Violence, but hey, where's the fun in that? When recording with Shadowplay, the RAM usage actually hit a 10GB peak. Whether that was due to the game utilising it just because it was there, or it actually needing 10GB, I couldn't say. With 16GB of RAM, Doom managed a minimum of 146 FPS, a maximum of 201 and an average of 177 FPS. When changing to 8GB, Doom managed a minimum of 141 FPS, a maximum of 201 and an average of 176 FPS. So as you can probably see, you'd be pretty hard pressed to notice any difference during gameplay. But at least it's nice to know that minimum frame rate was higher on 16GB, which might be important to people running lesser cards. Next up we have Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now a lot of people would simply run the benchmark three times and just change the amount of RAM. Personally though I've never been in favour of that as benchmarks don't represent true gameplay. So you guys get to see how smooth it plays on both settings and if 8GB is enough or if 16 will improve the minimums or average frame rate. To push my system hard and use as much RAM as possible I ran this game at maximum settings 1080p with SSAA times 2 which has a performance hit very much the same as 1440p but by god did it look gorgeous. I think the game actually recorded some of the highest RAM usage of any of the games tested today with peaks into 9GB without Shadowplay even running. With 16GB installed the game was very consistent with virtually identical benchmarks each time I ran them. The minimum FPS reached was 49, the maximum ran to 113 and the average FPS was 71. Switching to 8GB and running the same gameplay benchmark with Lara in the hot seat again, we see the minimums of 48 FPS, a maximum of 113 and an average of 71 FPS. Even with 8GB this game was very consistent with practically the same benchmarks each time I ran them. And as you can see from the benchmarks and gameplay, Rise of the Tomb Raider runs exactly the same whether you use 8 or 16GB. As both Doom and Rise of the Tomb Raider are newer titles, I thought they would be more relevant to people questioning whether they need 16GB of RAM for gaming. As for video editing and rendering, that's another story, which I'll get into when I publish my test of Rise of Son of Rome and The Witcher 3. But for now at least it really seems that there is little reason to get 16GB of RAM for gaming. Just to let you guys know, I will not be publishing a video next week as I'm away for training, but will resume to normal publishing the week after. And it's going to be worth the wait guys, as I'll be reviewing one of the graphics cards I mentioned in my best £90 GPU roundup. If you enjoy my content, please like, share and subscribe to help my small channel grow. Thanks for watching and stay passionate about PC, whatever your budget. I'll catch you guys in the next one.